let's create the topography so for that we need to go to site plan and go to massing inside here select topo surface then place a point here select that just copy a couple of these here make sure multiple and constraint is checked maybe copy this at six feet or around five select all these then copy from here now it's already selected we can copy this to this side here here also we will try at six feet let's just copy a couple of these then select all except the first one then copy from here click finish and we got our topography here now let's go to this left view here or the back and select this topography edit surface and we will change the elevation of this from here select all these and then just we will use move and take this down we don't have any accurate dimensions for this so we'll just change the elevation randomly if you want you can put here minus one foot maybe or you can just use move and take this down hold shift key and deselect all this then take this down first deselect this then here we will try to take this up a bit deselect that take this one also up a bit then deselect and take this down select all this deselect that one So I just created something like this now let's create the building pad here okay there's too much slope so I will edit that again edit surface and create the building pad here go back to site plan go to massing inside select building pad then edit type we will create a four feet building pad here four feet put four feet thickness here and draw around the building Or maybe on, the, on this side we can extend this a bit around five feet and on this side let's try 10 feet and see that in 3d so we got this building pad let's edit the topo surface again again as i said I, didn't, I don't have any accurate dimensions that's why i need to edit this again just take all this until this uh, building pad and from here we can give the slope Or maybe I will just take all this up a bit because we want to create a swimming pool here so we will not have to edit this again
so let's create swimming pool here and we will use uh, building pad again to create that go back to site plan select this building pad then create similar use pick lines and the swimming pool will be around 15 feet on this side and here we can make it seven feet like so and use pick lines again and on this side let's try 13 feet and tr for trim on this side we can we can put 10 feet now use pick lines again and put one for six offset here then click and then hover over any of these lines then hit tab key to highlight all the connected lines then we can click finish and i think for this one we might need to change the thickness of this building pad so select that edit type duplicate this will be a seven feet which is going to be the height of the swimming pool click edit put seven feet thickness now we need to do the topography here so for that you can use split surface in the massing inside select split surface then click on this topography and then go to site plan use pick lines and then just hover over this edge hit tab key then click finish and we can now delete this topography here select that and delete now to fill this opening here you can either use floor or building pad i will use floor to fill this opening go back to site plan and select floor from here edit type create a six inch floor and put six inches thick inches thickness here and again repeat the same just hover over this edge and hit tab key to select all and let's take this down minus seven feet which is the thickness of this building pad perfect now to create the folder we can use the same floor select that copy based on the same place uh, aligned to same place then you can change the height offset here just ignore this warning we'll just give the offset here it will be minus one foot perfect and add a type duplicate this will be two inches edit put two inches here and apply a water material to this create a new material open up the asset browser go to liquid here and let's select a swimming pool material here perfect if i change this to realistic you'll see that okay here i just noticed we have to edit this roof again select that edit profile and i forgot to move these six inches here before take that up six inches and move this one also here also just select that select both these corners and then just drag that until here and click finish it must fix this we need to edit the curtain wall as well so select that edit profile and for this one also we can repeat the same just delete these lines and use pick line and pick this edge and then all the other edges of this roof
just use tr and join these two perfect on this side here yeah, we need to edit this wall also perfect now we'll just save this project now let's create these stairs here and then we will finish modeling this house so go to site plan here this minus four feet and go here and select stair and change the top level to none and put four feet height here and it will automatically calculate the number of rises risers here you can see you'll get seven of these now draw from here like so and select all and move just place that to this click finish you go to 3d let's edit this topo surface here select that edit surface and we can just select these points and go to left view uh, to the right view here and just move them like so perfect now delete these two railings and edit the width of these so edit stairs go to top view and change that to six feet go to 3d and let's remove the risers select this edit type and uncheck riser here perfect so we have finished modeling this cool looking house in Revit. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course. You can follow the first link in the description. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.